In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Diablo Immortal crashing and not launching on your Windows computer. So the first thing that you need to do is just ensure Windows is up to date. And this is fairly simple to do. All you need to do is right click on the start menu icon, go to settings, and then click on update and security. And you then need to click on check for updates. If Windows does detect any new updates, it will then install them. Also, if you do have any optional updates available, go ahead and download and install those as well. So as you can see, it's detected a new update for my computer, but it's for Microsoft Defender. So that's not really going to do much of a difference. So once you've updated Windows, the next thing that we want to do is ensure that you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. So installing the latest driver for your graphics card can actually resolve a lot of issues when it comes to crash and freezing and not launching of games. If you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer, then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon, go to device manager, and then expand in display adapters. And as you can see, I have an Nvidia graphics card, which means I need to go to the Nvidia website and I then need to download a driver for a GTX 1660 Super. I will pop links in the description below to Nvidia, AMD, and Intel where you can grab those drivers. Also, if you're not sure how to update a graphics driver, I will also pop some links in the description below to some guides that we have done on how you can do just that. Okay, once you've updated your graphics driver, the next thing that you're going to want to do is ensure that you have the latest DirectX files installed on your computer. So you now need to click on the other link that's in the description below to DirectX, and you will then end up on a page that looks like this. Next, you need to select your language and then go download. You then need to run the setup file and you then need to agree to the terms. If you do agree, press I accept and then next. And you can then choose if you want to install the Bing bar, which I don't, and then press next. And it will now check to see if you have the latest DirectX on your computer. So as you can see, I already have the latest version. So that's all fine. If it did update your DirectX, allow that to update. And then once it's finished, go ahead and launch Diablo Immortal and see if that resolved the issue you've been having. If it didn't, then the next thing that we need to do is just ensure that you do not have any overclock settings applied to your hardware. If you have overclocked your graphics card or anything else on your computer, then remove those settings if you know how, as they could be conflicting with the game, causing it to crash and not launch. If you haven't overclocked your system, then the next thing that you want to do is just ensure you don't have anything else running in the background when launching the game, as it could also be conflicting with the game, causing it to crash. Another thing to do is right click on the start menu icon and go to task manager, and you then need to select users and also ensure no one else is signed in. So as you can see, I do have another user account signed in at the moment, and it's using 400 meg of RAM. So I actually want all the memory I can have for Diablo Immortal. So go ahead and sign out that user as long as they have saved everything. If they have, you can click on the sign out button at the bottom and then go sign out user. So that's now freed up a bit of CPU and memory that I can then use for Diablo Immortal. Once you've done all that, go ahead and launch the game again and see if that helped. If it didn't, then the next thing that we want to do is right click on the start menu icon and you then need to go to power options. Next, you need to click on additional power settings and you then need to select the high performance power plan. You might have noticed that I am currently using an ultimate performance power plan. If you are interested in getting this plan, then I will pop a link in the description below to a guide that we have done also on how you can activate the ultimate performance power plan. So once you've selected high performance, Go ahead again and launch Diablo Immortal and see if that helped. If it didn't, then the next thing that we're going to want to do is run the game as an administrator. So you now need to go to the location where you installed the game. You will now see a Diablo Immortal Launcher.exe. You need to right click on this file and go to properties. And you then need to click on compatibility. And you then need to select run this program as an administrator and press apply and OK. Once you've done that, launch the game and see if that helped. If it didn't, then you can always change it back and just right click again, go properties, compatibility, and just untick the option. So the next thing that we're going to want to do now is just ensure that our security software is not causing the game to crash. So 
So if you have installed a third party security program, then try changing it to a passive mode or a game mode if it does have the option or disable your security software just for a temporary period of time and then launch the game and see if you don't have any issues. If you don't, then you know it's your security software. So you will need to add the game to the exception list within that security program. But just keep in mind that you won't be protected from any security threats while your security software is disabled. After doing that, and if it wasn't your security software causing the issue, then the next thing that you're going to want to do is just ensure that none of the game files have become corrupt or missing. And we can do this within the battle.net launcher. So go ahead and open that. Once you have it open, you then need to select Diablo Immortal from your games list. And you then need to click on the settings cog next to the play button. And you will then see an option for scan and repair. Go ahead and click onto this. And you can then select begin scan. And this will now check your game files, like I just said, to see if any of them are corrupt or missing. Once that's finished, go ahead and launch the game and see if that helped. If it didn't, then the next thing to try would be to reinstall the game. But before you reinstall the game, I have popped a link in the description below to a guide that we have done on resolving crashing issues and stuff with Diablo Immortal. So there might be another method in there that I didn't get to add in this video. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click on that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.